Hello everyone, Aggies here. So, this is some weird development. I didn't think it was going to go this far, but Area F2, a game that is almost a 1 to 1 recreation of Rainbow Six Siege, is starting to come under fire. Ubisoft went on to say that Rainbow Six Siege is amongst the most popular competitive multiplayer game in the world and is amongst Ubisoft's most valuable intellectual property. Virtually every aspect of Area F2 is copied from Rainbow Six Siege from the operator selection screen to the final scoring screen and everything in between. Now, what makes this even more curious, dear viewer, is that Ubisoft is suing both Apple and Google for allowing the game to continue to be downloaded from their respective storefronts, despite Ubisoft telling them to seize any distribution of this app. Now, I have seen this game from time to time, sometimes in my own videos no less, and to me, it seemed no more than some offbeat attempt at a clone of a successful IP. I have seen these everywhere, there are a dime a dozen around the Google Play Store. The most notable example I have is a game by the name of Critical Ops on the Google Play Store that attempts to emulate Counter-Strike and has been around for as long as time in memoriam. They're out there, so you don't have to look very hard. But back to Area F2. What makes this particular game stand out is that this is the first time I have ever seen a publisher slash developer come forward to actually say outright we're suing these platforms for IP theft. Weirder still is that both storefronts make a cut of revenue when users download these products, so I would imagine that both storefronts wanted to keep this game as active as it's been a decent success on Google Play with almost 80k downloads. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below, it's going to be very interesting how this is going to turn out if this actually ends up going to court, and I'll be keeping a watchful eye in case anything else turns up. We also have a new form of the Nouveau active on Doom Eternal, a game that was met with massive appraisal from fans and critics alike. You would think you wouldn't be able to screw up a game post-launch with so much going for it during its infancy, but when it comes to Bethesda, anything is possible. Recently, the publisher saw a massive spike in criticisms over their handling of the unreleased Doom Eternal soundtrack, and now that the game's composer Mick Gordon is unsure if he will ever return to do another id software project, Bethesda basically said it screw the pan and just threw themselves straight into the oven. The Nouveau is a form of anti-piracy measure that was slated to be in Doom Eternal, but it was not packaged correctly when the game was released and pirates were able to have a field day of redistributing this game everywhere. The Nouveau has also been slated by many to be nothing more than bloatware on a user's system. Users stating it creates noticeable performance issues on games that it ships with, but that's not all. The Nouveau also has a form of anti-cheat that has also been included recently within Doom Eternal. The reason why players are worried about this is due to the access Denuvo gives itself. In an article published by ARS Technica just a few days ago, said Denuvo anti cheat driver doesn't have annoying tray icons or splash screens, letting players monitor its use on their system. This invisibility could raise some eyebrows, they said. ARS also stated that Denuvo's parent company, Erdetto, claims that no monitoring or data collection happens outside of multiplayer matches. The Nouveau anti-cheat product owner Mikhail Grishneshev told ARS via email. The Nouveau does not attempt to maintain the integrity of the system. It does not block cheats, game mods, or developer tools. The Nouveau anti-cheat only detects cheats. So, I'm curious as to what you guys think about this as De Nouveau has never been liked by the gaming public, and it seems you only ever see publishers defending such software, and for the obvious reasons, to defend against piracy. Which is fair enough, but it seems the measures taken are very anti-consumer to begin with, which is ironic. Because publishers want their products to be bought by many, but when I say a game will be included with De Nouveau, I start to get a little hesitant. And now, I will have to be extra cautious about the games I buy on PC going forward. You have to be very careful with stuff like this. Giving software like this root access to your system is unknown territory for the most part, and anything can go wrong. Denuvo will put a lot of people at risk with this sort of anti-cheat measure, and only time will tell if this form of anti-cheat is a good way of combating unfair play, or is it going to be the bane of PC gaming. Please let me know what you guys think about these two stories in the comments below, and also tell me if you would like to see content like this on the channel going forward. Obviously, I read all the comments, so until next time, thanks for watching.